You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. May the Holy Spirit be with you, my dear listener, so that you may understand what we are going to speak about His Word. We are now living from today in the days of the 21 days of the fasting of Daniel. And what is the meaning of this? The meaning of the fasting of Daniel are 21 days where people who are interested, those who are interested in maintaining a relationship with God for the rest of their lives, they will have condition due to receiving of the Holy Spirit. So, the person who listens right now, understand this verse of John, chapter 4, verse 23. I said, chapter 4, John, chapter 4, verse 23. Chapter 4, 23. This verse, Jesus teaches by saying, He says, Yet the hour, he says here, is impossible to please God, if not in spirit and in truth. He says, yet the hour, yet the hour is coming. This is the time. The fasting of Daniel is the time. It's from this moment on. And 21 days, we are going to be seeking we are going to be involved deep with the Almighty through His Spirit. So, He says, Yet the hour is coming and is now here. And is now here. When the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship Him. Meaning, it's not possible for a person to have communion with God, to have relationship with God, if they are not in spirit and in truth. How can I be in spirit and in truth in order to communicate with God? How can I be in spirit and in truth in order to know what God wants from my life? To know His projects for my life, His plans for my life. How can I know that God is with me? How can I be certain? How can I have the certainty that the things I'm going to do is God's will and will work. How can I know that the dating that I have is going to be productive and we are going to get married and we are going to build up a family and we are going to live the rest of our lives in peace and harmony. How can I know if this marriage is of God or not? If it's, if it's God's will or not? How can I know the prophecy, or the, the profession, the profession I'm going to get if I have an option? So how can I know what's the best option? My God, I do not know. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a dentist. I want to be an engineer at the same time. So how can I know what is best for my life? So I can project my life in the future. There is only one way, my dear listener, is by receiving God's Spirit is being baptized and sealed 
and stamped with the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul, talking to the Christians, the Romans, speaking to the Christians of that time in Rome, that in Rome he knew that Rome had many people that were converted from paganism to Christianism. So he said, you, though, are not in flesh, but you are in spirit. Read, read with me to this, with this verse, Romans 8, verse 9. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So he is pointing out this message. He is pointing to those, meaning those Christians that were there and converted from paganism into Christianism, they were not in flesh no more. They were now in spirit, meaning God's spirit. And he says, if indeed, if indeed, the spirit of God lives in you. If indeed, now if any man does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. So pay attention, my dear listener. If you do not have God's Spirit within you, you, you are not His. But I am Catholic, I am Evangelical, I belong to a church A, B, C, I read the Bible, I believe in God's Word, yes, you do. But if you do not have His Spirit, you do not belong to Him. So this is the most important reason of this purpose of the fast of Daniel. For you to receive God's Spirit, you need to make the sacrifice. It is obvious. How can you want to receive the Holy Spirit living a life of sin? How can you expect to receive the Holy Spirit if you are a person that lives doing what is unjust? You know what is wrong and you live a wrongful life? So how can you want to receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, if you are a liar, if you keep on lying? So, for you to receive the Holy Spirit, which is God's Spirit, you need to abandon lying, you need to abandon prostitution, a life of promiscuity, you need to let go of adultery, you need to let go of everything that corrupts, that corrupts the good behavior, the good manner. Anything that goes against God's character. You are listening to me right now, and maybe you, you might be doing something. And I'm speaking here with you right now. Right now. You can cut that. So, you might be busy doing something, but you can hear me. So, my dear listener, you that are right now at home, or you are at work, or wherever you may be right now, please put in your mind this one thing. Your life depends on the Spirit of God, which is the Spirit of faith. You need faith to overcome. You need faith to conquer. You need faith to go against and fight the battle, to fight the good fight, and to overcome the devil and all hell. But in order for you to have faith to overcome all these problems, you cannot do it only with the spirit of faith. But it's the Holy Spirit, is the one who borrows us faith or lends us faith to overcome. So, if you do not have the Holy Spirit, it's worth for you to sacrifice in these 21 days that has begun. So, 21 days where you are going to be available and you are going to let go of all social networks, you are going to abandon all sports, literature, literature. You are going to let go of everything of this world. Secular information. You are going, it's going to be worth for you to let go of your Facebook. 
of your social network because when you are thinking about the things of this world, it is obvious that you cannot receive the Holy Spirit. So once again, I want to place that word that God says there in John chapter 4, verse 23. Look at what Jesus says. The hour has come and now is here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Then he says, For the Father seeks such to worship him. So, God, he is willing to give his spirit, to fill you with his spirit, to have them seeking him in spirit and in truth. So you that are listening right now, maybe you say, but it's a lot of a sacrifice for me to not go on the internet, for me not to watch news. Everything that has value, anything that is actually valuable, powerful, there is a sacrifice to pay for you to have your degree, your diploma, a certificate. You must go to a college, a university. And when you enter the university, you have to study years and years. And it's hard. It is hard. Four, five years only studying and studying. That's a sacrifice for you to become then a good professional, to be a good doctor tomorrow, to be a good dentist or to become a good lawyer or a good engineer. So you need to have your mind, you need to sacrifice everything that you can in order to obtain more and more information of what you're going to be doing. The fasting of Daniel has the same purpose. So we are, we are letting go of all the secular information. Maybe you say, but Bishop, I am studying. Should I stop studying in order to seek the Holy Spirit? No. In this case, no. Because you should, yes, study. Because you are going to have ex exams and you are building yourself. But there are people that they are not studying. There are people who are not working with media. They don't have to run after news. They don't have to, to go on to do the things of social networks, they don't need to go hunting for news. So these people that they want to receive the Holy Spirit, they need to sacrifice, they need to sacrifice their moments of entertainment, whatever kind of thing they need to do, and focus only put all their life in the things of God. And then God is going to see, the Father will see that you are striving, that you are doing your part, and He will come upon you through the person of the Holy Spirit. And then the person may ask, but I am studying, and I want to receive the Holy Spirit. Very well. But when you stop studying, when you are when no longer in class, so then you emerge yourself in the things of God, such as reading the Bible. Make the fasting as you are available. If you are able to make the fasting for 8 hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, so go ahead and do it. In this way, because you cannot give up your studies, your exams or your work that you cannot let go. So God, He sees the effort you are making and everything you are doing in order to seek Him. But once you receive the Holy Spirit, you are going to become a person of success. Because, for example, how many people they, they live in fear? How many people they are depressive? How many people, they live in doubt? Yes or no? For example, you are a person who 
do business and you want to negotiate, if you go and negotiate in doubt, if you are doubtful if you are going to sell or not, if there will be people to buy, you're not going to sell, you're not going to buy, you're not going to make money. So you need to have faith and certainty and conviction. And this faith, this certainty, this conviction is God's Spirit that comes and gives to us. So all my life, in everything that I do, the business, all the investment, all my five battles has been by faith, certainty, because the Spirit of God is upon me. And this is what we want you to have, for you to have God's Spirit, so that even the food that you are making, let's say you are a chef, so that food you're making is going to come out good. Maybe you, you might have lunch. I don't know if you are eating right now. So you must have faith to eat. And this food is not going to go bad on your body. So faith, you need faith even to love. You need faith. You need faith even to love. Because faith is something needed. It's a must. Especially to those who are wanting to have God's Spirit. And if you want this spirit of faith, you must sacrifice your life. So we are going to listen now to a beautiful song and we are going to return talking more about this. Near to you My Lord Near to you My Lord Near to you In your prayer Near to you, my Lord, near to you, my Lord, near to you.
It's very true, my dear listener, it's very true. The Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, is the secret of the universal church of the kingdom of God. The Holy Spirit is my secret. The Holy Spirit is the secret of all those that belong to the universal church of the kingdom of God and they are overcomers. Because those who are of the universal church and they are losers is because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Because when we have the Holy Spirit, we are an overcomer. That's why right now we are going to play for you testimonies of people that truly received the Holy Spirit. See and hear what God did in the person of the Holy Spirit did in their lives. Let us listen right now. Before taking part in the 21 days fast, I had a lot of inner issues. My biggest problem was depression. My depression got so bad to an extent that I would come home and I would lock myself in my room. I wouldn't communicate with family members. I wouldn't have a relationship with them. I would isolate myself. And being alone in my room, I started to have a lot of negative thoughts. I started to have suicidal thoughts, many suicidal thoughts, thoughts about killing myself, taking my life. I started asking myself questions as, why am I here? Why am I like this? Why, why do I have to suffer? And that depression with time only got worse, worse and worse. And I started trying to fill that depression with something. And that's when I was introduced by the bad friendships that I had. I was introduced to pornography. And I really got hooked on pornography. I used to watch pornography every single day. It would be something that became not only something that I would do just once in a while, but it became a routine. It became something that I needed if I didn't watch pornography. I wouldn't be satisfied. I also got hooked on gaming. I would stay up all night gaming until 5, 6 a.m. And that really started to affect my school also, my school performance. It started to affect my school performance. My grades started to go down. And through those addictions as well, I got involved with the wrong people, with the wrong crowds. People that led me also to later on theft. I started to steal. I started to steal from shops. I started with, at first, I started with something small, such as a, a, a chocolate bar or something very lit, very small, insignificant. But after a while, I really got hooked on stealing and theft. And it, it got to an extent where I started to steal things that were very valuable. And one day I got caught by the police. I was brought home and it was really, a humiliation for my family, for my parents. I was in the church when I heard about the 21 days fast, the pastors, they were speaking about it. And I decided that I would take part in the fast. And I said to myself that I would go all in. I started to let go of the bad friendships that I had that were leading me to the addictions, to the pornography, to the gaming. I started to leave those friendships as well. Through the fast, as day by day, I was getting stronger. A week and a half after the 21 days had already finished, that I received the Holy Spirit. Today I can say that I have happiness, that I have joy, that emptiness is no longer there. Inside of me I have joy, I have happiness. I don't depend on people, I don't depend on friends to be happy. Even when I'm alone, I'm still happy. It's truly good to have the Holy Spirit inside of you. How wonderful. This is so wonderful. It's magnificent. This is our salary, our reward. This is the reward that we, pastors, assistants, all of us, all the people of the Universal Church receives when we see the fruit of the work, the person filled with the Holy Spirit. It is a great joy in our soul. It's like they said it was not easy, it was not easy, but they persevered and finally they received the Holy Spirit 
and they received the spirit of life. And this is what we are proposing to you, my dear listener. We are going to hear now more testimony, more testimonies of people that were blessed with the Holy Spirit. I was someone who was full of grudges. Um, I had a lot of negativity inside of me. A lot had happened to me in the past and for some reason I was still living the past but in the present. So yeah, I was um, holding a lot of baggage. As the opportunity of the 21 days came, I saw it as my lifeline, a, ch a chance for me to start again, a chance to have a new beginning with God. Loads of things were going wrong in my life. My life was upside down basically before I came to church and I did a campaign for my spiritual life. I did the campaign and saw results but then what happened was as the time went on I went back to my old ways. Um, I stopped investing in my spiritual life. I was not having quality time with God aside from church. It was just, I just went back to just being a church girl. I just receiving what was, what I was learning from church and that was enough. It's more important for me to receive the kingdom of God than to strive for or trying to fix my life, everything else that, all the material things that was going wrong around me. To try and sort those problems out and me remain the same was a recipe for disaster. Because if I could, if I could receive God and I have God inside of me, then I have the power to change everything. Without the Holy Spirit, we're nothing. We can't do anything. We're empty vessels. And that was very important that I got that bit right. And the 21 days coming, or when it came up for me, was that opportunity to throw myself in God's arms and say, here I am. I really put my everything into it. I was seeking God. I was meditating on the word. I put him first in everything that I was doing. I put God first in, aside all my problems. I didn't look to what was lacking in my life because it was all about him. Today, I know who God has made me to be. I know where he's taken me because I had that relationship with me. He showed me where I'm going. And honestly, it's all about him. It's not about me at all. Me standing here is nothing. It's not about me. It's about God. It's about his, the honor and glory to see that I came from nothing and that my life was upside down. And through his power and authority, through his grace today, I can smile again. My life is not that same person again. I'm a new Anastasia. Life is just moving from one grace to the other. And every moment I just give thanks to God. Any universal church that you go to, you are going to have this Wednesday a special seeking of the Holy Spirit. And if you want, of course, there are those people that may say, ah, but I, I've been into these meetings and nothing happened. You know why nothing happened, my dear listener? Because you were not interested. You were interested in everything else except the Holy Spirit. So, when a person is interested in anything, they invest all their strength. When they truly want, they do whatever it takes and they go after what God has promised, which is the Holy Spirit in this case, the person who wants the Holy Spirit. So, you who are doing the fasting of Daniel cannot miss this Wednesday to come to any of the Universal Church to see the Holy Spirit together with other people people who are in the same faith with the pastor who is going to be ministering you're going to, to raise your hands up to heaven so that you can receive the Holy Spirit. We are coming to the end of our participation and tomorrow we are going to come back here to, with all of you so that we can make the special work that God wants us to do. May God bless all of you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Come close and hear my cry. I am in need of you. Come rescue me. Pardon.
my soul For I am faithful to you Save your servant You are my God Oh Lord, come close And he Oh my God. 